Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is my relatively new car. It's a Volkswagen Golf, an SDI 1.9 engine. It's an AQM engine. Got the screwdriver, pops that off. This is a 10 mil. You pull out this plug and lift this off. It's just got a rubber grommet in here that needs to be popped off. Put this back in so the dust doesn't get in. A couple of screws at the back here. And they're not going to be too hard to get out. One in here. That's a 5mm Allen key. That's it. It's loose now. So, so down here underneath, this is the auxiliary drive belt and I've just got a spanner. That's a 16mm on this tensioning arm up here and by lifting it up it untensions the belt with my other hand yeah i can loosen that off 13 mil and in behind this is a place where we can use a locking tool later on so this is a vacuum pump i think and that's it very easily just comes off so down here we can see the end of the camshaft and it has this slot in it here and that slot will take a tool for locking the timing this camshaft locking tool that locks this camshaft and we need this with the screws here to tie it on to be able to see the belt you need to get in here and there's a clip down here there's another one on top you just clip them off this is the belt cover Pop that off. There, it is. there it is that's got loads of cracks in it we've got an injector pump injector pump belt three screws around the outside but we never loosen the center one tensioner is in here and this is the camshaft pulley up here and there's another idler down below somewhere so this bolt in the center is on the end of the main crank and it's got a 19 head on it it's not actually that hard to rotate and then up here on the diesel pulley in this slot up on the top you can see there's a slot cut in there and that and then in behind there's a hole but what I'm hoping is now when I go over this side, this will be as bang on to horizontal and it's not far off it. So I think if I can get that diesel pin in, we'll be right for locking it up. Yeah, so wiggling with the pliers, I'm sure it's going in. So it's not going to get any tighter than that. One of these pins in. And this should slide on. And that locks in perfectly. And then this just screws on here. Like I'm just hitting it lightly with the handle of a screwdriver to get it to go in. It's just very snug, which I'm quite happy with. So there's the, the line on the flywheel, on the rusty flywheel. And then above it, on the threads, there's a little triangle. There we go, something moving there. I think an impact screwdriver will be the way to go here. But letting penetrating oil sink in. You don't want to take out this bolt here. I'm kind of nervous of putting the pullers on it because these are aluminium and they just snap off. It's moving a little bit. There it is. Yeah, see that? Wiggling right around. Oh yeah, that's getting looser. There, it's spinning now, that's good. Oh, we're off. So we'll get this fuel filter off as well. I think to do that, I've got to take off these screws here. This plastic bracket out. And here there's these clips that hold the diesel hose in and they're plastic and probably not been released in a long time. There's one off below and push the top one up. Okay. So I need to jack the engine from below now and take off this mounting block here. So I've got a jack in there to the sump. I got the two here loose and pretty easy, but this one is a different beast. I've got it on the breaker bar. Just 
be amazing. You see, they're going into aluminium. So, two foot breaker bar. So here's this piece as it comes out. And it's a big rubber mounting thing inside there. That's this one loose, there's a bolt in there. There's another one down here somewhere or something. There's a, another nut holding, another bolt holding that bracket on. And this time it's a 13. So that's the cover, comes out. So we've got this pin in, we've got the lock on the end of the camshaft on the far side, and we've checked that the crankshaft on the end of the flywheel, the timing marks are aligned. They are, so we'll go to loosen this. We're about to take off the timing belt. Loose. 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 Don't loosen the one in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna loosen off this thing over here. Looks like a bigger one. There we go. That's it, so that's loose. Let's just check the timing marks again. Pin is still in, hasn't come out. This bar is still in, locking, and that's good. That timing mark is still at the top. Well then, it should just be a matter of releasing the tension on this, slipping off the old belt, slipping on the new one. So here's the new belt on the old belt. The old one on the left. New one on the right. So there's a nut. Let's just pull off. Let's try and see where this pulley thing goes. There's a little slot there for it. The new one. New one's got a much bigger bearing in it, which is good. Let's offer it back in. That looks about right to me. This is still in, the pin is still in, so let's tension up the belt, so with that loose. In the centre of this there's a little indicator, and so there's a notch here on this piece, and there's a little indicator here, and they should line up. See? So they should line up. Then I should tighten this, and then I'll put tension on the belt and pull it off again, and we'll see if it resets to where it was before. So I'll hold that where it is there. Tighten this up to the appropriate torque. And put some tension on the belt somewhere. comes back to the notch again, which is what you want. So this one's meant to be, I don't know, 45 Newton meters or something. Feels about right. Looks okay to me though. 13 mil. I'm gonna try turning it over now, take out the pins and locks and turn it over. Clip on the end, slide it out.
So I've turned it over twice. Yeah, that fits in now. Perfect. Put on the covers first, then this bracket. So I've put everything back together. There was nothing complicated about it except for thinking about it and doing it in the right order. I believe everything's tight. I haven't put the cover back on yet because uh, I'm going to start the engine. It's in neutral. supposed to check is this tensioner down here at this point so let's see if I can it looks like the thing is lined up with the notch it's impossible to show it to you yeah it looks like it's lined up again so I'm just pushing it with my thumb and it looks like it's lining up so that's all right I'll put the top cover back on it's it's about four o'clock in the afternoon now and I started this much earlier more like 10 o'clock i did i stopped for an hour when i couldn't get that pulley off and spent a bit of time reading about it that was the uh, auxiliary belt pulley on the crankshaft in the end it needed a lot of beating I showed you the tail end of that but like i tried it with the air hammer first with the air chisel first that didn't budge it and in reality it might have if i'd kept going but a brass hammer is probably better for it because I thought I was going to do damage. Yeah, about six hours, an hour for that, and then I wasted a good half hour because I hadn't put the lower cover on. I had to take off this bracket again, and that it's just fiddly. There's nothing. It's not complicated. It's just fiddly. And the other thing was that I wasn't satisfied the first time I checked the timing with the checking the locking pin, the timing mark, and all that. And that was just me being pedantic, faffed around for another half hour doing that tension in the belt again. I've seen it online that you could do it in three hours. I'd say if I did it again, I could possibly do it in three hours, two hours, two and a half, that kind of thing. Some guy said he could do it in 45 minutes. You know, if you do it every day, you should be able to do it in 45 minutes or an hour, I'd say. If you're, you know, if the same thing's coming into your garage, you know what to do, you know what tools you need. But like, I'm pretty messy on tools, and this is where I've tidied up here, you know, and put all my sockets up there. But you go in, you take one out, and you can't find it, and you don't know which one it is, and then you end up, you know, trying a few things. The stuff takes time, but the job gets done. So we've got a timing belt on the car. I think it's 16 years old or thereabouts. I'll probably never do the timing belt again on this car. I don't really want to do it again. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, there you go. I'm glad it's done. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll post some links below as well to Amazon. If you buy stuff, I get money. See you later.